Today on Crimes Among Us, I bring you the story of the Missy Bever slaying. Early morning, April 18, 2016, Missy Bevers was getting ready to lead a 5 a.m. fitness class. She arrived at 418, according to the surveillance footage. Class was to be held early morning at the Creekside Church in Midlothian, Texas. Missy had become accustomed to starting in the wee hours of the morning when she worked as a teaching assistant. Bevers had advertised the date, time, and location of her class online. To reassure her class, Missy posted on Facebook the night before that boot camp would be going on ahead regardless of whether it was raining or not. A camp gladiator session, a mix of running, squats, planks, lunges, and inchworms, when the class that should have already started, a 911 call was placed. Missy had been attacked. A participant of her class found Missy unresponsive. She was laying on her back in the main foyer, surrounded by large pools of her own blood with glass shattered all over the floor. Paramedics and police announced her dead on the scene. Cause of death, multiple puncture wounds to the head and chest. Her body showed signs of a physical struggle. Missy leaves behind three children and a husband. No one is quite sure why this murder actually happened. At first, they thought maybe it was a fall robbery, but nothing was stolen. Um, her vehicle seemed untouched. The doors were unlocked. Gym equipment in the back, handbag with keys and wallet and iPhone still inside. The slaying of Missy Bevers rocked this quiet town with no known murders in the last seven years. Once the cameras were reviewed, they showed a person enter the church at 3.50 a.m., 28 minutes before Missy came inside. She arrived at 4.18. Dressed in what appeared to be riot gear, the unidentified assailant roamed the halls with a crowbar and a hammer, stopping occasionally to break the windows or break into a door. Standing around five foot eight with a very distinctive walk, police described this as a feminine sway. Please follow me for part two.